So I wasn't thrilled with how the neck was coming out. Um, the I, I think the uh, the true oil that I'm using is is really old and uh, partially oxidized, so it was it was really adding a brown color that I didn't want. Um, but that made me think maybe I should uh, paint the headstock. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is is try to do. The idea is to try to do a blue burst on the headstock. Uh, I might just make it black. I'm not sure. Uh, but the first step is still going to be to cover it in black. And then after it dries, sand it off. Um, that, that should show some of the grain. And then I can do the blues. Uh, and try to get sort of a, a burst that's going to match what I want to do with the body. At least that's the plan. Um, so what I'm going to do, since this is black, um, I'm, I'm not too concerned about the true oil having too much pigment. So what I'm going to do is actually mix some of the true oil the overly oxidized true oil, which you can see it should pour a lot easier than this, but there's a layer of uh, solidified, there's a skin on it. And I don't know if you can see, but that looks mighty dark. Um, I have more on order. Uh, it's been delayed, so it hasn't arrived yet. Uh, but this should work for this purpose. Uh, what I need to do now is I'm gonna mix in some artist oil paint. This is uh, Winsen, Windsor and Newton Winton oil color, lamp black. That's what I'm gonna use. And I am going to, I put, put some true oil in here. I'm gonna mix in some of this artist oil paint. That was probably too much, but it's okay. I can always use it. All right, so now I'm just going to mix it up. Now, the thing is, artist oil paints are um, are based on linseed oil, and so is true oil. Um, so it's very compatible. Uh, so you can mix it kind of like a thinner um, all together and come up with a nice pigment that you can wipe on. Now, I think I might have put a little too much in here, but it's okay, because this is just to pop the grain. I'm going to do the darker edges, and uh, then I'm going to sand it all off just to see the grain. Um, but then I'll probably do some more around the edges, and then maybe blue in the middle, if, if that even works. I'm not even sure that that's going to work, but I'll try. Okay, so now I need to get a rag. So I'm going to fold up this little piece of t-shirt, this cloth, and dip it in the black, the black true oil and artist oil paint mixture. And I'm just going to go for it. You can see since true oil is mixed in, it really keeps the the color nice and loose. You can move it around. Alright, so I'm just gonna leave this to dry. And then I'll do uh I might do another coat or I might just sand it and see what it looks like. So here's the headstock painted black with artist oil paints and a little bit of true oil. 
Uh, and now I'm going to sand it off. Hopefully some of the grain picked up the color. Uh, then I'm going to attempt to do a little bit of a tiny blue burst or something. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I'm taking um, 120 grit. It's a little, little coarse, but uh, I'm not ready to uh, finish this yet. So I just want to get uh, most of the black off here. So I think what I want to do, let's see, maybe do another, another bit of black just around the edges um, and then try to blend in some blue. This is really all experimental. I've never done this before, um, but I'm kind of digging the color there. We'll see what it looks like after I sand some of it down and add the lighter color on top. So I took a, uh, a clean rag and actually wiped down the middle here just to get rid of some of that darkness um, and I think I'm going to try the lighter cobalt blue just to see if it pops more than that the Prussian blue was very dark uh, for such a small area for this headstock um, I don't think more than two colors makes sense for the body I plan to do black on the edges, then the Prussian blue, darker Prussian blue uh, next, and then potentially a French ultramarine, and then the cobalt blue, uh, or maybe just three colors, I'm not sure. But for the headstock, I feel like it just needs to be black on the outside, and then the lighter blue on the inside. So I'm going to try, see how this color works on the headstock. Okay, it's definitely more blue. Ooh, I like this. Yeah. All right, so now I just have to wait for that to dry a bit. Uh, just a few hours. Um, and then I'll hit it with some uh, steel wool and do another coat we'll see how that looks so the neck the headstock is pretty much dry now so i'm going to sand it down and do another coat um actually going to sand it with 180 just a little bit Time for some cobalt blue. All right, that's looking pretty decent.
It's kind of hard to see in this light. And I'll keep adding more coats once I get the true oil in, uh, get it nice and shiny. Well, I'm going to do more of a satin finish. I don't want it too, too glossy, but uh, I, think, uh, I think it's going to work out. Okay, the, uh, the headstock is dry. Um, so I'm going to put on another coat of the artist oil paints. Um, let me see. I'll do, I'll start with a little black on the edges, just kind of darken, darken that. I'm going to try not to use too much. Okay, gonna do a little sanding on the headstock with uh, 2000 grit and do some troil after. Troil with colors. Okay, let's get some. Let's see, is this black? This one's the black one. Hard to get a good view in the light. But I think it's looking good. <laughs> 